So ever since we got the Chiron update about a year ago at this point, we've been getting a lot of remodeled vehicles in Jailbreak. In fact, pretty much every supercar in this game has been getting some kind of remodeled to it. And even some cheaper cars such as the Cybertruck and the Porsche have been getting remodels too. So anyways, in today's video, I've compiled a list of five jailbreak cars that are still in this game that should get a remodel sooner or later. And I did make sure that these vehicles on the list are well over two years old at this point. And obviously, I'm not going to include any seasonal or retired vehicles on this list because... Because we're obviously not going to get any remodels to any of the retired vehicles, and Asimo said he's not going to update any any of the seasonal vehicles, um, as far as I know. And also, if there's some jailbreak vehicles that are not on this list yet, but you think should be on this list or should get remodeled, well, some of these vehicles I'm going to save for later videos, because I'm planning to do a video where I tell you guys my top 5 cars that should get a buff, and also my top 5 cars that should be retired. So, I'm probably going to upload those videos probably in a week and a half from now, because uh, next week we're going to start to get our um, update news for the uh, Season 3 update. So, we'll probably be focusing on those videos. So, anyways, hope you enjoy this list. Number five, the classic car. So don't get me wrong, this thing actually looks pretty decent actually for like a two and a half year old car at this point. So this car was added in the museum update. I believe it was definitely in 2018. I think it was like kind of um, mid 2018. But overall, I feel like the classic car is kind of an underrated vehicle. Um, a lot of people think so, and I kind of agree too. So I think instead of this thing getting retired, I think this thing just kind of needs a buff as well as a remodel too. But I'm just going to explain how I think this vehicle should be remodeled, actually. That's why I'm doing this video. So as I said, the exterior of this and in the overall model of it doesn't look too bad, actually. It looks pretty ahead of its time, honestly. But if this thing were to be updated, I think it should definitely be um, scaled up a little bit. Because if you do some research and look at some images, you'll realize that it's real life basis that the HRG Roadster actually fits two people. So I feel like this thing needs to be scaled up just a little bit and also your your whole character is uh, just looks over scale compared to the car so I feel like the car needs to be like scaled up just a little bit um, just so at least your character could actually fit inside the car but back to the remodeling so yeah keep the exterior it doesn't need to be too different than this but yeah a add actual doors to it maybe and yeah just improve some details here and there and add like kind of an old style of interior with like a bunch of gauges and a bunch of lever sticks and stuff like that and also along with the remodeling some other stuff i think should be added to this car is a different engine sound for sure like I would love to see like a custom engine sound on this, but if that's too hard to do, um, maybe just add the same sound as the dirt bike I recommend with kind of that buzzing kind of old engine style of sound. And also, especially if you do upscale this car a little bit, it, it wouldn't hurt to add like a functioning convertible top, kind of like its real life counterpart does, um, like when you hit uh, G or whatever, just to toggle it up and down, kind of like the Jeep and the Boxer. Overall, let's just move on. Number four, the dirt bike. So don't get me wrong, I know what you're thinking. You guys might disagree with me with this, but the dirt bike, I don't think needs a buff, right? It, it looks decent how it is, but think again. This thing was one of the first vehicles added into the game. Well, obviously not the first, but this thing was added in the game, I believe, June of 2017. So it's almost getting close to the, to the like four year mark of this thing being added. So it was added only like two months after the official release of Jailbreak. So yeah, it's that old already, but um. Anyways, a lot of people think that this thing should just get out of here, like be retired from the game once and for all since we already got better bikes such as like the patrol bike and the volt bike. But if I'm being honest, I don't think this thing should be retired because it kind of fits in with like the criminal theme of things inside Jailbreak. So instead of this thing just being retired, I think it should just like get totally get a remodel and also get a buff. But again, uh, top five vehicles that should get buffed, I'm saving for a different video. So I'm not going to talk about these vehicles like getting buffed. So first of all, here's the patrol bike right here. So this patrol bike, you, if you guys have been playing for like two years, you remember the first map expansion update where they uh, yeah added the airport and added that new lake. Well, that's the update that this patrol bike was added in. So it's about two years old at this point. So that means these two vehicles are like two years apart because this uh, dirt bike is almost four years old but 
just to look at the difference between these two vehicles i'll just upgrade them real quick so yeah just look at the difference between these i mean this dirt bike just looks like a bath toy compared to the patrol bike we got here so you could see that that the patrol bike definitely has a lot more detail than the dirt bike so now here's how the dirt bike should be remodeled so First of all, definitely make this thing a lot more smooth, a lot more detailed than um, than maybe even the patrol bike. Definitely add some like seat detail, kind of like we got for the um, patrol bike and maybe even um, have it so you could change the color of the seats or something. And maybe add some like engine detail so you could change the color of the engines and just tune the engines and stuff like that and add an actual fuel tank and just make this thing more detailed, uh, make it look like an actual dirt bike in this game. Anyways, let's move on. Number three, SWAT van. So you guys probably know why I have this vehicle on the list. It definitely deserves a spot on the list because this SWAT van is even older than the dirt bike. In fact, this thing is the fifth vehicle ever added into jailbreak so first of all we got the official beta release which all they had in there was the bra car bra heli and uh, model 3 and then we had the supercar update which added the lambo and then the third update after that was the swat van update so yeah the swat van is pretty old and outdated it's extremely outdated now so i think it's time for an upgrade so now how can this thing be updated well i'll tell you so First of all, if this thing does get remodeled, I think they should just remodel it um, to look more like the G-Wagon, which it's rumored to be based on. At first, I kind of knew this thing was based on the G-Wagon, but at the same time, I kind of doubted it, because even for a four-year-old vehicle, this thing does not look anything like a G-Wagon in my perspective. Like, the front of it, the lights, and the grill don't really fit the G-Wagon, and the back does not fit the G-Wagon whatsoever. So, so yeah, I think the SWAT van needs to be remodeled to look more like the G-Wagon, but if Badi can't do that due to copyright reasons i think they could make this into some other uh, swat vehicle like a hummer or something maybe the hummer h1 would make sense and even the new gmc hummer ev would also um be be a good contender too because i feel like everyone's requesting that car and it could fit like a swat vehicle but if they do remodel the SWAT van into a G-Wagon, they should definitely for sure improve, like redo the exterior and interior. And honestly, I think they should just remove this jump seat back here and just make this thing fit for people like the G-Wagon does. And honestly, I think they should just replace this back area with like a trunk. And speaking of that, I feel like the SWAT Game Pass is kind of underpowered, if you know what I mean. So I feel like um, I feel like the SWAT Game Pass needs to have more benefits for um, people who pay like 300 Robux. I feel like they should add like a special feature to the SWAT van if it does get remodeled or updated so if they do add like a trunk space back here I think they should give SWAT owners an ability to actually equip their weapons and SWAT gear inside the trunk of the vehicle um, just to give a little bit of a benefit to like the SWAT game pass or something like that it might seem a little too OP, but I, I feel like sw uh, the SWAT game pass is just a little underpowered. But I'm going to do a total separate video um, on how the SWAT game pass should be improved. So I'm not going to uh, go too in-depth, um, but I'm just talking about like how this vehicle should be remodeled. So anyways, let's move on. Number two, the Wraith, or the Boss Car as it's also known as. So... The, even though this is not as old as the SWAT van, in fact, this thing is like two and a half years old. It was added in like August of 2018. So yeah, it's almost like two years apart from the SWAT van. And, and I feel like the boss game pass is better than the SWAT game pass, but I'd rather have this thing get remodeled instead of the SWAT van. Because, I mean, come on, it's, it's a Rolls Royce Wraith. You have to like these. I mean, just take a look at that interior. So I actually kind of think they might do this sooner or later. I'm probably not going to be for a while though. So, how should this thing get remodeled exactly? Well, I'll explain now. So, first of all, with this boss car, uh, just remove the minigun once and for all. Make it look like how it does in the preview of it before you spawn it. So, just make the car look like that without that annoying minigun on top, because it's basically the same exact minigun just copied from the SWAT van and pasted on the top of this boss car. So, I feel like they should just get rid of the minigun for criminals. I feel like no one really uses the miniguns uh, much anyways. And what I think they should do if they do get rid of the minigun, they should just add another uh, weapon that's only exclusive for uh, Game Pass owners of the boss pass. But anyways, so yeah, they should just redesign, totally redesign the Rolls-Royce Wraith. I mean, it looks pretty decent, not gonna lie, but I think they should actually add functioning suicide 
suicide doors, kind of like you see with the real life Wraith, because uh, I think that's one of the key features that distinguish the Wraith from all the other Rolls Royces, if you know what I mean, or pretty much every other car. So yeah, redo the exterior and definitely do the interior, like add an interior to this for sure. I mean, you you can't not like, you, you can't hate the interior of, of the Rolls Royce Wraith. Come on, I mean, every other Rolls Royce pretty much. So anyways, if this thing does get remodeled, what I think Bedemo should do is make the interior one of the most detailed interiors inside the game. I mean, obviously not this detailed because that would just affect people's performance, but but some of the key features that Bedemo should hands down add to the interior of the um, remodeled Wraith is, is definitely the star headliner we got in most of the Rolls Royce models. So yeah, um, I bet Bedemo could do something similar to this. It, it's probably, not, it's definitely not going to look as detailed as the real life one, but He's done interior lightings to some of the newer cars, such as the Cybertruck, for example, even though they're, um, they're just like uh, long white strips. But I bet Bedemo could do something about like the Starliner. And honestly, the rest of the Rolls Royce interiors are rather simple. Like it's got kind of a square dashboard and just some lu luxurious seats, if, if you um, could uh, put it that way. But yeah, just put some luxury touches like inside of the door. And yeah, just, just like a Rolls Royce looking dashboard, if you know what I mean. And also, I just spawned another car with an interior just for an example. But I feel like if they do remodel the Rolls Royce Wraith, I feel like they they should add more interior um, options, if you know what I mean, because in real life, I mean, when you do get a Rolls Royce, you can basically customize it to whatever you want, like add some artwork and like pick any color you want for the seats. So I feel like there needs to be more like customization options for the interior, just um, just exclusive to the Wraith, if you know what I mean. So maybe like a dashboard color, for example, or maybe an interior lighting color, as I said, for the uh, star headliner and maybe like a steering wheel color. You know what I mean? And honestly, Honestly, even though the Wraith in real life fits four people, I don't care if Bedemo makes it so um, the if, so the updated Wraith fits four people, because I understand it would be kind of cramped back there, and um, even though the Dodge Challenger and the Beam Hybrid in this game um, has four seats, they do not fit four people, so um, I doubt this thing is going to fit four people at all, even if it did get updated, but still add seats back there just for detail. Um, yeah, just make it as detailed as uh, you can, Bedemo, if you do end up updating this, this thing, but... Anyways, before we move on to my number one, I'm going to talk about a few honorable mentions. Anyways, I'm going to try to keep it kind of brief, and I only have a few honorable mentions to talk about, because I don't want this video to turn into, like, a top 20, if you know what I mean. But, um, anyways, number one is the Bra Car slash Bra Heli. So, I don't think these vehicles should be updated because of memory reasons, and plus, these past few days, Asimo kind of confirmed that these aren't getting any revamp whatsoever. Anyways, number two is the monster truck, so I almost included this vehicle on the list, but I, I, I feel like even if it were to get a remodel, I feel like it would still be a pretty underused vehicle, because I do not think it's worth uh, worth a million even if it were to get remodeled, because it's bouncy, it's slow, it's clunky at accelerating, Um, you get the idea. Anyways, number three is the Volt Bike, so I, I'm pretty sure this vehicle is going to get remodeled and the mechanics of it is just going to get totally redone um, in the near future, but I don't really care if this Volt Bike does get a remodel because, I mean, people could do the glitch, obviously. As for the ambulance on my last honorable mention, it got beaten out by the SWAT van, and it looks pretty ahead of its time. It actually looks kind of decent, honestly. Like, we got kind of an interior on it. And for my number one vehicle in jailbreak I want to revamp the most is the Army Heli. Now the Army Heli is actually a pretty old vehicle. In fact, this was added in the one year anniversary of jailbreak. So it's going to be like three years coming up um, since this thing was added. So it's a pretty old vehicle, obviously not as old as some of the other vehicles I have on this list, like the dirt bike and stuff like that. But this thing, I feel like needs to have like a revamp. Now, I understand that some of you guys might disagree with me and say that this Army Heli should just stay how it is because of um, memory reasons and it's kind of good how it is. But as I kind of talked about it, at the start of the video, a lot of the vehicles that people actually use are the ones that's mostly getting the revamp. Like, a lot of the supercars are getting a revamp, and I feel like this is the aircraft that people use the most. Even me, I, th I think this is the best aircraft in the game, in my opinion. And also, we've got, like, one or two um, aircraft revamps. Like, we got a revamp with the UFO, and we kind of got one with, like, the Blade slash Drone. So, doesn't mean we can't get, like, another revamp of an air vehicle. So, how should the Black Hawk be remodeled exactly? Well, I'll explain now. So, 
first of all, just totally redo, like start start over from scratch when it comes to like the exterior of it. Like as you can see, it's real life basis. The Sikorsky UH60 Blackhawk um, hat. It's it's not that crazy, but it's got some detail. I feel like this model right here is kind of lacking, like the um like the thrusters we got right by the blades on top. And also, if this thing were to get remodeled, just add some more windows here and there. Just add some more detail. And yes, um, definitely add like a functioning sliding door, kind of like its real life counterpart does. And have them work similar to pretty much every other vehicle in this game. Lately, pretty much all the vehicles we've been getting lately has functioning doors or some kind of functioning door. So I feel like this Blackhawk should have some kind of functioning door on it, like its real life counterpart does. And when you get into it, the door closes. And when you get out, uh, obviously, it's going to um, open back up, kind of like the crude capsule does for example and also definitely redo the interior as well for um, almost forgot to mention so for the cockpit um you don't have to have it crazy um like the real life one but have it like the sh same shape and size as the real life one i would say but maybe have um like the detail in it kind of similar to the little bird does like just a few screens here and there and some gauges and just small detail and of course add some seats too as for the rest of the vehicle, along with the functioning doors, I think Bedemo should actually add seats inside the cabin, kind of like the real life one does. Like, you, you ha have it still fit like eight people total, but maybe just have six seats, like facing forward or backwards or something like that. And just add some minor detail in there, I would say. Maybe add access to the cockpit, I would say. Um, just to give a little detail to this, but um... Anyways, I think that pretty much wraps it up for my top five vehicles I want remodeled inside of Jailbreak. So I'm probably going to get back into like um, update news videos because we're going to get update news really soon here, like the start of next week. So I'm uh, let's all get prepared. And uh, next video I'm probably going to do is like top five vehicles that should be buffed. Um, I'll probably do that in a few weeks and then I'm going to do top five vehicles that should be retired from this game. So anyways, uh, take care, everyone.